TST and Vizzy presents Quick Tips for the Everyday Vizzy User. Plot View Selection So much like how we would go into, let's say, a layer manager, we could turn on and off different layers, different layer groups, and be able to isolate certain parts of the model. So as you can see, we're just isolating certain parts of the model. We can enable Just Suppress. We can enable anything else. As you can see here, turning on and off different layers and so on. So now within Plot View, we can do pretty much the same thing. So we'll start out by going into our View tab with all the layers turned on. You can see how when we look at our part in the preview, you can see that it's going to show all of that information. So under this selection area, you can see how we have different layer groups, different layers, and when we go into preview, when we turn on, let's say, a layer group, you can see you just see the sections from that layer group. Switch to a different layer group, you can see all the views and all the sections from just that layer group. So when creating this view, it'll create only off of that specific group. So for example, I go to create my view, and it's going to create that view just off of that layer group. I can switch it around, going back to my Selection tab, and this time just picking a handful of layers. So I can enable just these specific layers to be turned on when it comes to creating a view. You can see in my preview, it only shows those specific layers. Under this method area, it automatically changes what method it's using from layer, layer group, parts list, and so on. So if I create this view, it's going to show only those layers. We can then go back to the Selection tab and now go into my Parts list. The Parts list is set up through the Assembly Manager. You can turn on certain Parts list and it will only visibly see what's in those Parts list. You can see under the method, it also changes the Parts list automatically as well when it comes to View. This also works the same thing for Multi-View as well. So when we go back to Selection, let's say I want to pick certain areas. I go to Select Element. I can pick certain areas of my model and be able to change the view and select those items for my specific view. It turns on those items automatically in the selection column and shows only those items when we're creating our view. So as you can see, when we create the view, it's only going to be of those items. So it's like turning on and off layers, layer groups, and parts list. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions or would like to see a live demo, you can contact us at 248-922-9293 or by visiting our website, tsd-software.com.